Hey, this is Russ Anderson. One of the cool things about stereo is that every shot is a motion capture shot. And you can figure out the path of any feature that you can see in both cameras simultaneously. And that works whether the object is rigid or whether it's flexible or whatever. So here we'll take a look at tracking a feature on this swing and do that just, just from a single pair of trackers. And of course we could repeat this process as many times as you need to track the rest of the chain, even if the chain is uh, bending or the seat, whatever. So this is our shot. Let's get a initial solve of the camera. And we'll set up a coordinate system for it. Just to make it easier to see where things are later. So we've got our ground plane of uh, trackers there. The camera is moving overhead. And now we're ready to start thinking about the mo movement of that swing. So we're going to set up a moving object, and it's going to be a stereo moving object. So the left and right pairs are, are linked together. Okay. So I just was adjusting things. We can do this uh, minus key accelerator again handily. So uh, let's take a look at uh, tracking the shot and tracking the feature. Just uh, there's a little bolt uh, on the side of this swing. So we're going to do a little supervised tracking for it. And the whole swing is moving around pretty much and it's a handheld shot. So we're going to use a fairly large search region and we'll just let that track through the shot. And we got something reasonably looking, reasonable looking. There's maybe a little funniness at the end, but we'll let that go for now. Let's lock this up. Now we're ready for the other camera. And we're just going to repeat as necessary here. So the other thing that we need to do is to link these two trackers together. So we're just going to Alt select it, and on the uh, Mac it's uh, Option or Command, one of the two, if, uh, to link the two together. So that's just, uh, we now have a stereo pair of a feature that's visible in both of the shots. And before we can solve, we need to do one other thing, which is to change the mode to tell Synthize that we want to be doing motion capture, basically, using this uh, pair of objects, this L object 1 and R object 1. And you'll notice uh, in the perspective view, there's a null here that's normally used for you know, moving object uh, tracking. But because this is a motion capture shot, that's just going to stay fixed down at the origin, and all of the individual points are going to be moving around separately. That's the difference between a motion capture setup and a usual rigid body motion capture. So now we can go and solve the shot and we wind up with a nice little camera path as the swing swings back and forth. We'll just look a little bigger, bigger version of it. There's the top view. You can see it swinging back and forth. And we can go and take a look at it in the graph editor. So here's the path of the tracker in 3D. And, you know, we at this point you can see that there are a couple of spots where we need to uh, fix up the tracking. Uh, that you know we can do that either as a uh, you know as a 2D fix basically or a 3D you know we could just simply go and move these points back into position. The drawback is we if we resolve we'll lose those adjustments. So it's always better to go and refine the 
the actual tracking data. And you can see at the end when we're looking at the point there, kind of edge on, the tracking got a little glitchy. So normally we go and just uh, fix that up. So this is a quick introduction to motion capture as applied to stereo. They go together very easily. As a result, you can track you know, flexible moving objects and produce you know, a whole stream of different moving points uh, relatively easily. And you know, if we're going to go and do this now, add a few more, we just keep on using the same L object 1 and R object 1 and just create additional tracking pairs within this one particular uh, you know, moving object. Thanks a lot.